Welcome to this official tutorial on how to navigate and use the Meghalaya School Information Management System or SIMS effectively at the school level. This guide is designed especially for school principals and administrative users to help you manage sanctioned posts and submit salary fund requisitions with ease and accuracy. Let's get started. To begin, open your browser and visit megsims.com. Once the page loads, click on the sign in button at the top right corner. Use your school's UDC code and password to log in. This will take you to your dashboard. The first step after login is completing the sanctioned post verification tab. This is mandatory before you can proceed to the salary requisition module. Let's go through each subsection in detail. At the top, you'll see your school name, UDC code, cluster ID and school address. Small blue diamond below that, you'll find a post summary with total sanctioned posts to be entered manually. Teachers in position, both sanctioned and contractual. Number of vacancies and visual charts that summarize appointment types and grant and aid classifications. Here, update the number of sanctioned posts manually. This is critical as it defines vacancy calculations and powers the budget and salary module. In this section, verify or edit teacher-specific data. Use the search or pagination tools to find a teacher's record. Autofill fields include cluster ID, UDC code, employee ID, EPIC ID, teacher name, gender, date of joining, and managed by. You must manually select or enter type of appointment, teacher level, post type, stream, subject, gear type, type of pay, regular fixed, service status. Remember, all fields must be filled before you can save. You can either save each row individually or use the save all button. This section shows class and gender wise enrollment. It is auto filled and non editable, but important for tracking student teacher ratios. Once sanctioned post verification is complete, proceed to the budget and salary tab. This module has three parts. At the top of the page, view your school's consolidated salary status, total teachers, sanction versus non-sanctioned posts, total budget, regular pay, total budget, fixed pay, grand total, pie chart showing regular versus fixed pay proportions. In the teacher information table, each row has a fund requisition link. Click on it to open the requisition form for that teacher. Review and confirm the auto-filled fields for the selected employee. Select the specific type of fund requisition applicable to the selected teacher, regular or fixed pay. Select the increment date and the quarter, quarter 1, quarter 2, quarter 3, quarter 4 from the drop-down menu. The relevant months will be auto-populated according to the selected quarter. Fill out the following information for the selected teacher for each of the three months. Basic pay, total emoluments under gear, remarks, if any, regarding arrears, partial pay, etc. The system now auto-calculates the grand total of three months salary. Click save and close to complete the process. This record will start reflecting against the teacher in the teacher information table on the salary and budget main page. Repeat this process for every teacher. Once you have filled all the fund requisitance forms for all teachers, you may proceed with the submission of the fund requisition. After completing requisitions for all teachers, scroll to the bottom of the tab and submit the fund requisition. Steps, confirm district, autofill. Choose Office Name DSEO for Secondary Higher Secondary SDSEO for LPUP Schools Office Location from Dropdown Click Submit to forward the request. To keep records or share the summary with officials, you can generate a print ready report. Click on the Print Summary option. Choose to export as PDF or Excel. The report includes School Details Teacher Wise Salary Entries 
total regular and fixed pay grand total a few important things to remember sanctioned post verification is mandatory for salary processing all drop down fields must be filled even one missing entry will prevent submission always review fund requisition entries before submitting you can view a teacher's details using the view button in the employee table for fixed versus regular pay refer to the eligibility chart in the user manual thank you for watching this walk through of the sims portal we hope this tutorial helps you carry out your school level administrative responsibilities smoothly for any technical issues contact your district education office or the sims support helpline